Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to do this image with title and when you roll over it it swaps into another image. We're going to expand on that today. We've got an image with a title here when we roll over it it's going to pop up with a call to action and a call to action button there. And these are pretty in vogue at the moment, really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of CSS coding to do this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video. And this is really easy. So let's get started. Let's enable the Visual Builder. And we're going to use a call to action module for this today, for the actual module with button. And the image that's there is actually residing in the column itself. So let's add a call to action. Divi comes a standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. Here's a call to action module. I'm going to pop it in there. Let's get rid of some of this text on all of that. And let's put this in here. Whatever you want your title to say, obviously. Whatever you want to have your button say down below there. I move this out of the way you'll see there's no button there as yet button won't show up till we add a link so if we go down to link I'm just going to put a hashtag in for the button URL and as you can see it's turned up nicely there now if you want the actual module itself to link elsewhere or even to the same link you can put another link in right there and always best practice if you're linking to your own site open it in a new window if you're linking off-site somebody else's site open it in a new tab so yours is staying open okay well let's just change that background color to let's give it a dark blue perhaps I'll drag this down a little bit color wise there we go that'll do fine for me great so we've got our call to action module and we've got the link now we don't want to see this at all until we hover over it we want to see the image that's going to reside behind and the text that's going to reside behind in the actual column itself so to do that we're using the filters over here in the design we're still in the call to action module if we go down to filters roll down to opacity opacity is transparency or see-throughness if you like and common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark legending some icons will appear if there's a little arrow there, we can set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it. Now when the mouse is not on it, I don't want to see it at all. So I'm going to bring the opacity down to zero. It's still there. You just can't see it. It's transparent. When we hover over it, I want it to be fully visible or 100%. Which is great. And the time it takes to switch from this invisible to visible by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds. If you want to speed it up or slow it down, which I quite often do for drama, still in call to action, go over to your advanced, down to transitions, and let's slow this down to almost a second probably. Obviously, you do whatever works for you. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as the mouse hits it. And the speed curve I like to use for this is ease in, ease out. That's great. So let's just save this. As you can see, it's disappeared until we roll over it. Now, we want the image that we see initially, like the one on the left and the right there. So, like I mentioned earlier, the image actually resides in the column itself. So let's go into the row, the green tab for a row, blue tab for a section, dark tab for a module. So I'm going to go into the row. We're working on the middle column here, column one, column two, one on the right is column three. So I'm going to go into the middle column. I'm going to put the image in there that I want to use. Let's use perhaps the people. Okay, that's fine. Now we want to add the actual wording that we want to put in there, which was hosting services. We want that to sit over the top so we can read it. So while we're in the column, we want to go over to our advanced, to custom CSS, this is where we will write our CSS 
And we're going to use the before pseudo class here. We use the after before. Either will do, but we're going to use the for today. So we want to put content. Always have to put content in if you want anything to show up. Colon. Open and close some inverted commas. And inside we can put the words that we want, which is hosting services, wasn't it? And I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use capitals for this. You could use CSS text transform and make it capital. And there it is right there. But I'm just going to use the shift and put capital letter. That's fine. What else do we want? We want it to be absolutely positioned in the middle. So I'm going to say position. Colon absolute. Semicolon. Now, where do we actually want it? I'm going to say top 50 and left 50, which should put it about in the middle, but I'm going to use another line of code to make sure that it's going to work fairly responsively. So I'm going to say top 50% colon, semicolon, and left 50%. That's kind of put it in the middle, but it's not quite in the middle. I've got to just tweak it a little bit. So we're going to do transform. Come on, translate. And open and close some round brackets. And inside here, I want to do sort of minus 50%. Then a comma. And then another minus 50%. That should pop it over to the middle there. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's actually right there. Great. Let's put a semicolon on the end. Always put a semicolon on the end. If you don't, it won't read the next line of code. So if you forget it on the last one, it won't matter. But if you forget it on any of these, it won't read what's next. So you want to make sure you do that. Okay, well, let's give it a color and a size now. So let's say color, hashtag FFF, or you can just write white if you prefer. Let's turn it white. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's say font size. I think I used 20 with the ones above. I'll, I'll say I'll use that again. So let's say 20 pixels. A little bit too big. It's splitting into two. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the hosting. I'm going to take the services away and just leave it to hosting. There we are. It's popped back in the middle now. Just had a little bit too much text. Now I can't really see that very well over that mixed color picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend in a color in the background, which will make that easier to see. So we've done all our CSS here. We should be good to go right there. Let's go back to our content and our background. I'm going to put a color in first one right there, color. And let's use a blue. And you can't see anything because it's just showing the image. But if we go back to the image there tab, roll down, image blend. I'm going to use multiply to mix the two, the image and the photo together. That's a lot better. But it's the same color as the one on the right. So I'm going to tweak the color slightly. So let's go back to our color. Now let's just make that sort of more purpley sort of blue something in between the two that we've got there. That's fine. Give you a bit lighter perhaps. So they're all different colors completely. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and we should be good to go. So let's save our changes. Save the row settings. Save the page changes. And we'll exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's our little hosting one. When we hover over it, it's going to change from the image to the call to action. And we can click on the button and go to wherever we want. When we take it off, it's going to fade back into the image with the title there. So there you go, guys. That's how to have an image with a title fade into a call to action. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.